Well, it's a great divide, isn't it, Alex? And I mean, all those people who failed to defend you when you got deplatformed, they're going to be next, which is what we talked about last week with YouTube, whereby now they're going to downrank conspiracy videos <laughs> where they don't appear in recommended, which is half the views on YouTube. Who's conspiracy? According to the BuzzFeed article, which prompted them to make that change. Ben Shapiro, Jordan Peterson, Dinesh D'Souza. So now they're coming for everyone. So everyone who failed to defend you, they're going to get it next. Now they're removing the, or at least considering removing the thumbs down button because their own video on YouTube, YouTube Rewind, got the most down votes in any, for any video in YouTube history. Exactly. Surprise, Again. surprise. Five-year-olds being given money by pervert men. People are downvoting that. So since San Francisco goes, like San Francisco's literally control of America and the world. It's like, they don't want pedophilia. Ban them. So, honesty is my greatest uh, attribute, so I'll just be honest. I uh, feel like humanity's up against a wall. And I'm just trying to generally get people to awake to the globalist and to Satanism and to corruption. But instead now, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm going to attack their minions. Like, they attack me for promoting liberty. I'm going to go after people that support the system. Oh, and then they get so scared. And that's the thing is they're not used to liberty lovers engaging them at point blank range. And I think, I think that really is the answer, Owen. Well, as soon as it hits your front door, that's when you usually wake up to it. Whether it's people coming to take your guns, whether it's people saying you can't have that Bible, whether it's people asking you who'd you worship this morning, uh, you know, who knows, maybe someday it'll be you, you they force you to watch the Super Bowl or you, you know, have to pay a fine or something because the ratings are down. So until it actually hits people's front door, the will or the necessity or just the desire to fight is not there for the average person, Alex. And, and so we're just sitting here trying to say, look, it's already at your front door. Here they are, you know, it's infanticide. Here they are calling for the guns. Here they Governor's are like, he going to kill them babies. But it's like, oh, until I, it's... I can't help it. I want to strangle him. Like, I, uh, so Paul Watson... What would you call this historical human point we're at on this planet? Well, it's a great divide, isn't it, Alex? And I mean, all those people who failed to defend you when you got deplatformed, they're going to be next, which is what we talked about last week with YouTube, whereby now they're going to downrank conspiracy videos <laughs> where they don't appear in recommended, which is half the views on YouTube. Who's conspiracy? According to the BuzzFeed article, which prompted them to make that change. Ben Shapiro, Jordan Peterson, Dinesh D'Souza. So now they're coming for everyone. So everyone who failed to defend you, they're going to get it next. Now they're removing the, or at least considering removing the thumbs down button because their own video on YouTube, YouTube Rewind, got the most down votes in any, for any video in YouTube history. Exactly. Surprise, Again. surprise. Five-year-olds being given money by pervert men People are downvoting that. So since San Francisco goes, like San Francisco's literally control of America and the world. It's like, they don't want pedophilia. Ban them. It's like, it's, it's like we've given insane people control of everything. Oh, yeah, and it's, you know, it's, it's similar on Twitter, whereby you were essentially banned for being mean to a CNN reporter, although Jack Dorsey couldn't even remember the reason, but that was the reason they gave at the time. Meanwhile, we've got actual verified people who were not even suspended, and to this day, a couple of weeks later, still have Twitter accounts, who openly encourage people to commit school shootings and to, quote, fire upon and bomb schools attended by Covington High School students. Those same people, none of them got banned. In fact, we had an article about one of them. Not, none of them got banned, Alex. They were literally calling for school shootings. None of them are off of Twitter. You were mean to Oliver Darcy. Got in his face for five minutes, banned forever. <clears throat> so, Paul, what do we do? Because it's it's clear that, sorry, I'm having a little bit of cold today, that we've crossed the Rubicon. 
what do we do at this point? Because I'm ready for war, but I don't want to prosecute this war improperly. Well, we need to petition the Trump administration to change the Communications Act, Section 230, to make these sites responsible, to have a Digital Free Speech Act. And if they don't do it, they're going to lose the next election. Simple as that. Algorithmic changes can shift 12 million votes in an election. They know that. They've been given the studies. If they don't do something about it, it's game over, Alex. Game over. So let's talk about that with Owen Schroyer and Paul Watson. I want to believe in Trump. and He's done so many good things on TPP, and on jobs, and on border, and on nationalism being good. But then he lets globalists take control. He lets them run all these deals. He does all this. Uh, he got mad at the Federal Reserve doing all these interest rate hikes. Paul, I want to defend Trump, but if he won't defend himself, what are we supposed to do? I don't know, Alex. What do you think we should do? I mean, we, we've said all we can say at this point. Um, Roger Stone said he had the conversation with, um, uh, you know, his head, his head of his campaign, and he said that no action was in the pipeline. We were told action was in the pipeline months ago, that there was about to be an executive order. Nothing happened. So, you know, it's, it's going to take more mainstream conservatives, like, you know, the, the conserva bros and the never Trumpers even getting banned for them to even bring it up to them. So, you know... We have to be pessimistic at this point. If they're not going to do anything to change the situation where they're losing millions of votes because of election meddling, which is what it is by these major corporations, then we've done all we can. It's in their hands. And if they're not going to do anything about it, they're going to lose. And, 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 and again, that's it. I don't care if Carl Rove, who lives like three doors down from me in Westlake, makes $5 million, $10 million a year. Just don't do it at America's expense. And that's the thing is that, is that they don't do any targeted advertising. They don't do any resistance. Everything they do is about selling America out. And then Trump's up there saying all the right stuff, but no one below him is defending. They've all completely sold out uh, humanity. And I just don't know what you do. I mean, clearly, it's not about kissing Trump's ass. It's like Rand Paul is super insular. He's like, Trump's the greatest thing ever. He's pulling out of wars. He's trying to do all this, and no one's supporting him. And it's I'm the same way. It's like, how do you look at something like not putting black people in jail for three times longer? I was on Chicago radio this morning, and I talked about Trump and how he cut prison sentences for blacks three times lower. And they were so programmed. They said, why did you just say blacks deserve to go to prison? And I was at like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. I started crying because they, not because I was kissing black people's ass. These are just humans. It's that like, there's like programming against truth now where you're like, Hillary says blacks are predators and need to go to prison. And uh, Trump just ended it. And like, well, why are you a white supremacist? Owen? Well, we're just sitting here trying to hold reality up at this point, Alex. Exactly. We're, we're literally like, oh my God, like this is reality we're trying to hold up and Google is just smashing it with the weight and just everything. I mean, Google is reality now and they censor everything. So Google censors reality and we're just up here trying to maintain reality. We're all holding it up over our head. It's this crushing weight. And Alex, I just look at you. You're like this old grizzled ship captain. You've been around every crevice and people are like, hey, we need to do this. And you're just kind of like, I've already been around that crevice, damn it. I'm ready to ram through. And it's just like people just, I mean, so so they're continuing. It's like like you said, Alex, they, these people, like look at Gavin Newsom's luxurious mansion. He's got, he's got gates and fences and Maxine Waters with big gates and fences and Nancy Pelosi with big gates and fences and Barack Obama with ga big gates and fences. And they all signed to fund a border wall five years ago. They all wanted to increase border security five years ago. And now all of a sudden just everything changed. Now they say walls are immorality. Oh, they never voted for a wall. No, it didn't happen. What are you talking about? So it's just like they know that they rigged reality. They know Google controls reality. So they can come out and say whatever the hell they want. And you're just up here, we're just up here at InfoWars trying to maintain reality, hold it over our head like, no, they voted for a wall first. They funded a wall first. Trump's just doing what he said he would do. And it's like, no, Trump's a racist, you're a racist. And it's just, you're Let me just ask Paul like, this, we around. Paul, who do you think Trump is then? Because Trump's doing a lot of good, but like, he, and then he hits on half, well, who do you think Trump is? 
Well, people have said, Alex, that he just listens to the latest advice that he gets and then acts on that. So it depends on who's in his inner circle. You know, I'm not privy to those conversations. But going back to the to the race thing, you know, they've done studies where liberals dumb down their language when they're talking to black people. So it doesn't matter how much you count a signal, how much you talk about Trump preventing black people from going to prison for marijuana possession or whatever. They don't care because they're not anti-racist. They're the most racist people in America. Now they're literally flinging dirt. The same people who go to the women's march and wear pussy hats are flinging dirt at, at an Ivanka Trump lookalike. Let's so talk about that when we come back because Trump is literally trying to get blacks out of prison and trying to fit. And, and like, and they have, it's just, it's insane. I mean, it's like, no, it's, tr it's true. It's like, it's like when they're about to kill uh, Christ and they say, give us Barabbas. I mean, that's what this is. It's like, give us Barabbas. Oh, here's the verge. Facebook removes 22 more Alex Jones pages after his latest policy update. Almost all of these are fan pages telling your viewers and listeners, you can't link to this man. You can't hear. Crank it up. You can't hear what he has to say. They have given us the crown of victory. They have given us the signet of truth. Our shadows taller than our souls. There was a lady we all know who shines white light. Now, I'm not joining with Sauron. I want to get Paul's take on this because we were going to start this an hour ago. Um, I guess one of these pages actually was us, which I didn't even know we had. It was like some war room thing. They think no one has a memory. Like, if we don't have Facebook, we have nothing. Our listeners can spread the articles, spread the videos from Infowars.com, Newswars.com. You are what gets us out there. You, We are you. But just to see this, oh, 22 more Alex Jones pages in latest policy to update. So you can't hear us. They're going to lie about us. They're going to attack us, but we can't respond. Everybody is talking about, you know, missions to Mars and, and taking the first flight to Mars or the first flights to space. This is the flight to Mars. I got on this ship at InfoWars right here, and I didn't know where I was going to end up. I didn't know if I'd make it out alive, but I knew I'm getting on that ship, and I'm blasting off, and I'm letting it take me to wherever it freaking takes me. And that's why we're here today, Alex. And that's why the audience gets on board. That's why the crew gets on board. We don't know where this ship is going to end up. We don't know where this ship is going to land. We know it's probably going to crash land. We know it's probably going to be fatal. But we know that our example that was set here will be resonate through the rest of time. And that's exactly it. Like, we're reaching more people than ever. I mean, I don't want to, the enemy watches. I don't want to give them inside baseball, but, I mean, whoa. Alex, I, I, mean, I mean, we have never, it's like, they, they just, uh, let's go to Paul Watson. Paul, what do you make of this? 22, Alex Jones, Paul Watson, uh, you know, we can kiss up to them, hope they don't banish yet. But, I mean, this is ridiculous. This is crazy. Well, they've banned pages with the words info or wars in them so i guess you know there was a there's a website called space wars i guess they're next so it's not even we don't own these pages alex we don't even own most of these pages we didn't start them we don't no, I, no them. I checked during the break one page they banned i never heard of these others like poor people go info wars and they go you can't have that and once again, it's it's after all these left-wing digital media websites who are going broke and laying off all their staff said, oh, why, why, because there were a few left, why haven't they banned these pages yet? So yet again, abusing their platforms to silence their competition. And yet still, Alex, they're going bust, but they're up on Twitter whining about people tweeting harassment at them, telling them learn to code. No, we don't have any sympathy for you. If you dedicate your life to deplatforming other people, then you lose your platform. How on earth can you demand any sympathy from anyone? No, cry me a river. Paul, I run into leftists, and they literally shake in fear. They think, like, I'm the guy from Homeland. Who Who is the left? Because we're not against gay people or black people or anybody. We just want to have a good life. What has the left created? Who are who? What do they want, Paul? They want raw power, Alex, and the mask is off. We had the pretense for so long that they cared about 
minorities and people of color and gay people and transgender people, the mask is truly off. As I was saying before the break, they're literally throwing dirt at an Ivanka Trump look. Now you wrote an article about Infowars.com, but let's pull that up. There's like a dirt pile. What is this? It's a, a performance art exhibit in DC, free entry. He will not divide us, hint, hint. But it's an Ivanka Trump lookalike, and they want you to throw dirt and she'll vacuum it up because they think that she's an, an, an unrecognizable, unrealistic feminine role model for the women. The truth is they're it's super scared perfect. of an ultra-awesome woman. I mean, like, let's worship women. So it's like they This they whole don't... thing is, like, about men claiming they're women to uh, take over the goddess. I, I, I'm not a cultist. I'm a Christian, but... But again, Women are Alex, powerful, and women are awesome, and men worship them, and they're trying to take over women's power, and I'm tired of it. It's the equivalent of them having a, a Clarence Thomas lookalike and inviting people to throw poop at it to own the racist conservatives. It's literally the same people who are going to be wearing pussy hats in New York and D.C. So, yeah, I agree. It's this dehumanization that if Trump has a woman, she's bad, let's attack a woman, which is what the left claims they're against. But it's literally an exhibit in their insanity when they say the woman is, it's not the woman's job to vacuum and clean up after the man. And then they make an exhibit that's all about a woman vacuuming and cleaning up after a bunch of miscreants that go throw dirt at it. So it's like enforcing the gender role of a woman vacuuming while they're telling you don't enforce the gender role of a woman's vacuum. I mean, it's like these people are all insane. Maybe well, let me, they let me expand on this. Let me expand on this. I have four children, and my son's already six foot one, 240 pounds of pure muscle, super smart and cool. I don't, I love him, but he's not even on my radar. My daughters. I have a 15-year-old, an 11-year-old, and a 2-year-old, and they're like, I mean, I just, I dream of them. I, I would love them to be president. I would love them to be, they're such magical creatures. And then the idea that I'm suppressing my daughters is satanic. It's them suppressing women. They don't want the real power of women. It's like you said, they're actually harnessing the power. It's no, the truth about. is, is that I've like ignored my son. I'm totally geared toward women empowerment. Like this idea that men don't want women to be powerful. It's like any woman that ever showed up and said, I want to be in a war or I want to be in charge. Men are like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Go right away. It, men aren't suppressing women. Men worship women. <laughs> I mean, you understand women literally have a whole nother genetic code we don't have. They have like the entire football. They have the nuclear football. And so women are the species. So this idea, Paul, that, 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 that we're against women, I'm not virtue setting the women. Women need to understand their power is men. Men and women together is like, it's like explosive. That's the power, Paul. Well, precisely. But again, it goes back to the point. They don't care about women. They care about power. So strong-minded, intelligent, conservative women in positions of influence or power are the most hated species to a leftist you could ever imagine. And then, you know, they... No, they, uh, say, they oh, want really... victims. They want victims. Yeah, and then, oh, we really care about the children. Well, you just said, this... this is a big epiphany. They fear powerful women. This whole cosmology about yeah. us for women is because they fear women. Fear conservative women, yeah. And then you've got the, you know... Well, no, that's what the I meant. Children. They fear women in their mission. Yeah, completely. And then you've got this Joshua Trump, who, again, was bullied at school because he shared his last name with the president. Go on Twitter today. Who's bullying Kim? Oh, it's all the same people who bullied and doxed the Covington High School kids saying that, oh, well, Trump called Hillary crooked, so why, why does this kid get away with a free pass? They're literally crapping on a sixth-grade kid who's distraught and crying because he gets bullied all the time. There is no low that they won't stoop to, Alex. No low at this point. I agree, Paul. We'll be covering it tonight, coming up 7 o'clock. If you want to stay up late, you join us. I appreciate that. But how do you see this ending gut level? Is Trump winning or is he losing? Well, the positive thing, Alex, he's back up to 48% in approval, which is, I think, two points more than Obama at the same time in his presidency. So, you know, we're in for a big battle. But again, they have to look at this social media issue because they're going to lose. This shifts millions of votes on Election Day, just on Election Day alone. Now they're turning down the volume on, on YouTube and all these other platforms. We need a Digital Bill of Rights Act, and we need changes to that Communications Act, Act Section 230, to make it basically punishable by giant fines if they directly censor people for their political opinions, which they claim they don't do. 
but their inside tra chat transcripts prove they do. And in reality, it proves they do. They've basically admitted it now uh, with YouTube and with Facebook. That's right. We're dealing with corporate censorship through big tech. And if Trump doesn't take action, it's just Waterloo. Paul, great job tonight. Coming up in 10 minutes, in five minutes, in three minutes, the war room, Owen Schroyer, and so much more. And then tonight, 7 o'clock Central, Infowars.com forward slash show. We're going to have full coverage of the State of the Union. Paul Watson, great points. I'm just so glad I've been working with you for 18 years. Paul, we love you. We salute you. Thanks, Alex. You know, Paul is a kid. He's super smart and great, but I, by the power of Isengard, I have chosen the people in this fight, and that's what makes it metaphysical. It's such a big deal. By leaps and by bounds, the number one best-selling supplement family in the world is energy drinks and energy supplements. But they are riddled with dyes and toxins and synthetic caffeines and other chemicals that sure get you a quick boost but burn out in just a few hours and have terrible side effects. We have developed, hands down from our research, the most powerful, healthy energy drink, pre-workout and beyond system in the world. There's nothing else like it must experience it. It is a total game changer and it comes in easy to use packets to mix in with fruit juice or water, whatever you'd like. Warning though, it's very, very strong. It lasts up to 10 hours. So take a half packet the first time you take it because Turbo Force is named Turbo Force because it will take you into overdrive. Turbo Force at InfoWarsLife.com.